Kowalski is here from Ohio, so thank you for traveling to be with us. She is a superstar diamond coach, top 10 coach in 2013, a member of the Legacy Club, 11 times elite, which is absolutely incredible. Um, she has Success Club 133 months in a row. Um, and she is, of course, a mama and a wife, and we are so excited to welcome her to the stage. Hello. I was just realizing I don't have control over the clicker. Is anyone else type A? I'm like, I'm glad I just lost some control. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Oh my gosh. I am so honored that Nikki reached out to me and asked me to speak to all of you guys today. It's actually been a bucket list thing for me to come to Pittsburgh because I've been a coach for 13 years. That's a long time. A really long time, thank you very much. I grew up in Beachbody and now what is called Body. And I look up to every single woman who is on the Pittsburgh Market Council. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so guys, I have a couple notes because I get distracted, okay? All right, I'm gonna make you guys interact a little bit. That's what I like to do when I'm on stage. You guys good with that? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, so the first thing you guys, I want to address an elephant in the room. Who set a goal in 2022 and didn't achieve it? Me too. Many, many, many goals, you guys, like so many, okay? So know that you're normal, you're a human being, okay? The goal of setting a goal is not always to achieve it. It's the growth, you guys, it's what you learn about yourself. The sooner you learn that, the easier this business is gonna get for you, okay? I also want you to yell out, okay? When you think of that goal, how did it make you feel? Discouraged. Discouraged. Yeah. Guilty, what's the other one? Terrified. Terrified. Defeated, that was the one I was thinking of because that's how I normally feel. Okay, you guys, who is still feeling that way? No. Be honest. Okay, who's trying to mask it with like, wow, it's 2023, it's a new year. Like it's a new year. Every single freaking hand should be up right now, you guys. And if not, it's because you're on my team and you know I talk a lot about mindset. <laughs> okay, guys, if we're gonna move forward and you can change the slide. Actually, just keep it, keep it, keep it. If we're gonna move forward, you guys, you have to let it go. You have to let it go, okay? Because if we're gonna try to move forward with having those feelings, those negative feelings, it's not gonna work, you guys, okay? Until you let go of 2022, you can't come into this year with the energy that you need in order to achieve those big goals that you set for yourself, okay? It's just a Band-Aid. The excitement of the new year is gonna wear off. And maybe that's happened in the past. Maybe you've been a coach for a couple years and you set these big goals, right? Maybe it's premier, maybe it's elite, maybe it's an income goal, a rank goal, whatever you guys. Okay, and you start this year and you're like, yes. Like I've heard a couple people talking, five-star elite, right? Some premier, an income goal, and I'm like, you totally got this. I believe in you wholeheartedly, but do you believe in yourself? Until you believe that, it's not gonna happen, you guys. Okay, so my goal for the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'll go as fast as I possibly can, is to help you let go of 2022. Okay, you can change the slide though. All right, you guys. So the first thing is that we have to accept, I don't wanna cross off anything, I want you guys to take a picture. Okay, so until we can do this, you guys, we have to accept what happened. But what we do as human beings, the way our brains work, is we shine a flashlight on what didn't happen, what wasn't in our favor, the bad stuff that happened to us, right? And when we do that, you guys, it creates that negative headspace, okay? Here's what happens when we flip that, you guys. When we can let it go and we can celebrate ourselves, we can look at the good that happened in 2022, okay? I know there was a lot of crap that happened to all of us, okay? Don't play the victim card, okay? It'll keep you stuck. 
But when we focus on that, more negative comes. When we flip it and we celebrate it, because in every single hard season, you guys, and I've been through my share of hard seasons, okay, while building this business, when you focus on the success, the small wins, you guys, guess what comes? It's that law of attraction. You bring more of that to you. You show up in a different light. If you know the think, feel, act cycle, you have a circumstance, which is maybe your goal, okay? And then how you think about that goal, missing that goal, will create a feeling in your body. And that feeling is how we show up every single day, okay? And we know as coaches, the way that you show up is gonna create the result, right? All right, you can change the slide. All right, tip number two, you guys. Whatever happened in 2022 was supposed to happen. Ooh, ouch, right? There's a couple of things that happened to me that I'm like, really? Like, really? I didn't want that to happen, but it was supposed to happen, okay? That is a hard pill to swallow. Very hard, you guys. I remember when my business coach, she looked at me and she said, here's the thing, dude. The goal, it, goals don't take time. They take alignment. They take alignment from your head, from your heart, from your body, okay? So when you look at those goals, you guys, know that it wasn't supposed to happen. Like I said, we all set goals, we all missed them. They weren't supposed to happen, okay? Staying in that victim mentality, our brain likes it, we get to spin in confusion, it takes no effort, and you don't have to do anything, right? You can just sit there and feel bad. But in order to step out of that, you gotta get uncomfortable. You have to own what you did or you didn't do. You have to own what happened to you, okay? And when you do that, it allows you to grow. It allows you to be an inspiration for someone else. I think back to uh, 2018, my husband and I went through an extremely hard year trying to get pregnant with our second child, who's now my beautiful but crazy three and a half year old boy. And we lost two babies, okay? And I remember really struggling to show up in this business through that. You know, if you've ever been there, you know that, that heartache, right? But I knew through that hard time, if I could show people the real raw stuff, but not just staying in the victim cycle, it was like, woe is me, but like, hey, this sucks. Life sucks sometimes. This business, everything in it, the people, the tools, everything, it's pulling me out of this. What happened? My business grew. I was able to go out and impact other people and give them the tools, the support, the community to do the same thing through their life. That is your gift to the world, you guys, okay? Am I getting clear? Yeah, okay. All right, next slide. All right, you guys. All right, let's see, I'll, I'll skip that story. All right, tip number three, you guys. Vow to do things differently this year by growing through your experience. You're never gonna be ready. I was talking to someone earlier and she was like, I just haven't felt that click yet. I haven't felt the click. It doesn't click until you start moving, you guys. Anyone else, when we started the workout this morning, were you like, oh, I don't wanna do this? I felt that way that first round. I was like, is she really making us do this right now? Okay? But by that third, fourth round, I was like screaming, sweating, like loving it. By the end of the workout, that energy that we all had running around giving each other high fives, that would not have happened if we wouldn't have pushed ourselves to do the five minutes of the workout. Okay? The first five minutes. Okay? So think about that. Every time you have something scary, that you're like, oh, I really don't want to do it, just know the first couple minutes are kind of going to suck. Own it. Be okay with that. Right now, whether you have a phone, a piece of paper, something, I want you to write down three things that are in your brain right now that you know you're supposed to be doing towards your 2023 goal. Okay? But that you put off. Maybe it's a coaching webinar. Maybe it's running a diamond mentorship group. I don't like the word push. Maybe it is having that chicken list, right? Or your top 10 of people who you're like, gosh, they would be such a great body coach. But you haven't reached out to them yet, okay? I want you to write it down, you guys. 
And I want you to vow to yourself that, what's today, the eighth? I got, what's 31 minus eight? Someone do the math. You have, thank you, whatever you said, that's right. <laughs> so you're going to have that many days to put some action into those things. It's not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be perfect. Life is not perfect, you guys, okay? But you learn through your experiences. And once you do it, you guys, then you go back and ask number three. I'm sorry it's so low, I had a lot to say. <laughs> Here's the thing, you guys. At the bottom, you look at those things and you say, what worked? What didn't work? What can I do differently? Now, if you look at the second bullet point, you guys, your own personal journey, meeting new people, adding value, inviting them in, getting them results. Does this sound familiar to anyone? There might be five, but that's the four vital behaviors. This is how I break them down in my brain, okay? Now, out of these things, you guys, because we don't have add value on the four personal uh, vital behaviors, add it, we got five. Where's Doug Moss? We need to change it. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. You go back and you look at what you did in 2022. Not with the let me beat myself up because I suck mentality. That's not going to get you anywhere, okay? In order to grow, in order to do better, you guys, this year, you have to be kind to yourself. You look at what you did. There's things in all five of these areas that I can go back and say, oop, yep, there's some things i got to do better. And you guys, I'm an 11-time elite team, and I'm still sucking at some things, okay? We all can grow. So I want you to go through and evaluate at the top of a piece of paper, you guys, and don't do it right now, please. But at the top of the piece of paper, you write down, number one, your own personal journey. And then you say, okay, what worked? What did I do great with my personal journey in uh, 2022? What did I not do so great at? And you don't beat yourself up, right? And then what can I do differently? That what you can do differently, that last dash, you guys, that is the gold right there because that is your growth area. That's where you can say, you know what? Maybe I'm just copy and pasting posts into my challenge groups or bod groups or whatever you call them, right? Maybe I need to make it a point to go live in there, even though it scares me, but they get to see me. They get to interact with me. They get to see that I'm a human being, okay? Maybe it's having more one-on-one -on -one calls with your teammates. I don't know what it is, okay? But that's the gold, you guys. And hopefully they align with the three things that you're scared to do. Okay, let's make sure you guys. All right, next slide. All right, this is it, you guys. Set baseline numbers and get moving. What I tell my teammates is so often, and maybe we did it so, so far this first week in January, people like sprint out of the gate, right? You're like, okay, I haven't invited people in like six months, but I'm gonna set a goal of 20 people per day. Anyone? <laughs> really? <laughs> Honesty? Okay, all right. Well, I know some teammates on my team who've done that, right? And by the end of that first week, they're like, I'm, I'm burned out. I don't have anyone to talk to. That's not gonna get you anywhere, okay? So what I want you to do is just set something that's like a hand reach out, okay? So baseline numbers in those five areas, you guys. The fifth one you can't really control. We don't know who's gonna get results, but we can have some effort in those areas, okay? So your own personal journey. What can you do with your workouts, with your nutrition, with your supplements, with your mindset work, okay? Just a hand reach out. Don't say you're gonna do it seven days a week if that's gonna set you up for failure. If you're doing like two to three, shoot for maybe three to four, okay? Because what happens when you show up and you do the actions you tell yourself to do? Anyone? You build the confidence in yourself. Every time you show up, you build those blocks of confidence where eventually it just becomes a habit and you don't even think about it, okay? Inviting. Maybe you're doing like two to three right now. Why don't you shoot for like four to five? Four to five every single day over a 30 day period versus 20 the first week and then you're like, oh my God, I burned myself out. I don't wanna do this anymore. Huge difference, you guys, and you will show up differently for those invites, okay? So the goal of setting baseline numbers is not to um, make them achievable from day one, okay? It's to build your consistency and your confidence. All right, 
Here's the thing, you guys. If you take anything away from what I said today, you got to let 2022 go. You've got to wrap it up with a pretty little bow. Look at the things that you did do well. Give yourself the biggest hug ever. But then also look at the mirror and say, okay, it's time to go. Like it's time to go when I'm uncomfortable, when I know that I'm probably gonna mess up. I always say like worthy fails, like I'm probably gonna fail at this, but I'm just gonna put it out there, right? And know that every time you do that, you're gonna be impacting at least one person, okay? Show up with the thought of one person as I show up every single day is gonna be impacted by me putting myself out there. And that's how the ripple effect of this business goes. So can I have everyone raise their hand? Raise your hand. Tell yourself, the minute that I walk out of this room, what happened in 2022 that didn't serve me, I'm letting it go. Got it? I'm not going to make you repeat that. That was really mouthy. <laughs> but just tell yourself, okay? And really do it, you guys, because I believe wholeheartedly that you're going to achieve anything you want to in 2023, okay? And you're going to have your back the whole entire time. All right. That's it.